Hello friends, this video on organisms and their surroundings part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now look at the next important characteristic of living organisms that all living organisms respire. Now, when we talk about respire, when we talk about respiration, a lot of time uh, people think that respiration is all about breathing. But that's not the real scenario. So let's see. Uh, what more is there to respiration? Now, even before I tell you what respiration is, let us consider uh, this scenario. Let's say we eat, uh, we eat any food. Let's say you eat this burger. Then what happens to the burger? You take it inside your mouth, you chew it, you break it into smaller pieces, and then those broken pieces of burger it passes through your food pipe, reaches the stomach, and finally reaches the intestine and this entire process of movement of the food what happens the food gets broken down further and further till it is broken down to its simplest form now once the food is broken down into its simplest form then what happens what is the simplest form of food nothing but glucose now that food is absorbed and absorbed by different parts of the body because each and every part of our body needs energy. Now, as I said, our body is made up of smaller units called cells. So the entire body is made up of small, small cells. So cells are there everywhere, be it hands, legs, mouth, everywhere we have cells. And inside every cell, there are a lot of processes that is taking place. Therefore, each and every cell needs energy. And who will give energy? Energy will be given by this food. So the food which is finally broken down into its simplest form that is glucose gets absorbed in the intestine and finally the food gets distributed to different parts of the body basically to different cells of the body. Now what do the cells do with this glucose? They cannot utilize that food directly. Now the cells need energy, they do not need glucose. So the cells they convert this glucose so the glucose is converted into energy inside each and every cell and for this conversion to take place the cells need oxygen. So oxygen is needed by the cells to convert this simplest form of food into energy and that is why we need what we need oxygen. So from where do we get this oxygen? This is what we breathe in. So when we breathe in oxygen, the oxygen reaches our lungs and then it gets distributed to each and every cell of our body. So once the cells receive the oxygen, then this oxidation process, this process is known as oxidation of glucose, which releases a lot of energy. And this energy is then utilized by the cell for the various processes that take place inside the cell. Now this process is known as respiration. So when we talk about respiration, it is not only about breathing. So obviously breathing is one part of respiration. So breathing is one part of respiration where we just take in oxygen. Intake of oxygen happens during breathing. But the other part of respiration is what we call as internal respiration where the oxygen that had been breathed in is utilized by the cell for oxidation of glucose to produce energy. So this two things breathing and internal respiration together makes the entire process of respiration now we say that all living things respire so let us have a quick overview of the entire process that we discussed we eat food the food gets digested then the food gets absorbed in the form of its simplest form that is glucose and then the oxidation of that glucose gives energy and this is called cellular respiration because it takes place inside the cells. The cells need oxygen for this process to take place. Therefore, we breathe in oxygen and also as a result of this cellular respiration, carbon dioxide is produced as a product. Like in photosynthesis, what happens? Carbon dioxide is taken in and oxygen is produced as a result of photosynthesis. In case of cellular respiration, just the opposite thing happens. Here oxygen is needed for the process and carbon dioxide is produced as a result of the process. So we take in oxygen and we give out carbon dioxide and this is what happens during breathing. So whenever we breathe in, we also breathe out. So when we breathe in, our intention is to take in oxygen. When we breathe out, our intention is to throw out the carbon dioxide. 
so now i think we are clear on what respiration is so respiration is a life process which involves intake of oxygen obviously and then oxidation of food so that oxygen is utilized to for oxidation of food so that energy is released and finally carbon dioxide which is produced as a result of this process that is eliminated from the body so this intake of oxygen and elimination of carbon dioxide this happens during breathing so this overall process is called respiration so now that we are clear with what respiration is let us again do a quick distinction between respiration and breathing so that you do not get confused between the two so when we say breathing it is only about the process where we take in air and give out air so when we take in air which we are interested in taking in oxygen and when we expel out air or when we give out air we are interested in giving out carbon dioxide so this this just this process of exchange of gases is called breathing now this is about the process of respiration as a whole now how does respiration takes place in different organisms now i have already discussed how respiration happens in human beings now uh, let's also talk about other organisms uh, maybe plants or uh, other animals like insects or uh, frogs or other any other animal that we can think of now when it comes to plants so plants also undergo a similar process like the process process wise it remains the same in plants as well so what happens in plants is now as i already said that photosynthesis takes place now in photosynthesis carbon dioxide is utilized and oxygen is given out right so that oxygen is again utilized by the cells of the plants for respiration and that's how the cellular respiration takes place so here there is no separate process like breathing because plants do not have nostrils and lungs etc so there is no separate process as breathing but the process of respiration that is the oxidation of food that part of respiration holds true for plant as well so in case of plants the oxygen that is produced as a result of photosynthesis so in plants photosynthesis and respiration are just two reverse processes so in photosynthesis what happens oxygen is produced and in respiration the same oxygen is utilized for oxidation of food so that's how respiration happens in case of plant thank you please visit www.examfeo.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again